your vent has to be much bigger than the compartment opening. Not the same size, but bigger, and the compartment opening, right? So the interior door is the one that matters, am I correct? So I might have a really big outside door or a relatively small outside door, but I gotta know something about that interior door or at least understand that that's the one that matters. It's the door to the fire compartment that matters. And I gotta get, my vent opening has to be much bigger than that, preferably twice as big, okay? So think about this, right? Do you have, does the typical bedroom in your community where you might have this fire, does it have enough windows that, that you can take them out and have an opening twice the size of that three by seven foot door, right? Maybe yes, maybe no, but that becomes part of the equation. The fire needs to be in the compartment. Once that fire starts to lap out, and for instance, the worst case scenario is gets into that two story space inside the rest of the house, once you put that fan on, if it's already gotten out of that compartment, now you're just spinning things around, okay? And you might not necessarily make things better. Things might get worse, things might just stay the same, but the fire's already out of the box on the inside of the building, that changes the equation significantly. So you gotta give that some thought. Both ends have to be watched. You gotta pay attention to what's going on at the doorway, because that's gonna give you some indication. You're always gonna get some blowback, by the way. The fire will eventually, if you don't do something about this, will, will blow back over the top of the door. That doesn't mean it's not working, that's just part of what's gonna happen. But you also gotta watch the exit point, because you need both reads. So start thinking about this, right? This starts to become kind of a manpower intensive sort of operation. Impact on visibility is limited at first, right? Not all the time, but there's a lot of situations, again, am I, am I speaking to this correctly, okay? Where the, the impact on the visibility took two or three or four minutes, you don't have that much time, right? The whole thing should be over by now. So if you're waiting, if you're setting your fan and waiting for it to look, you know, the visibility to get better, you're waiting too long. So that's a piece, because remember, this thing's feeding this fire in a, in a serious way, You'll get some better visibility, but don't be sitting around waiting for it, because that's going to take a while. Um, the, finer, the fire will always find its way back to the fan. The <coughs> cone of air that we draw in all our drawings when we talk about doing this isn't really a cone of air. It's moving around and fluttering, and especially at the top of the door. It's very turbulent, and the pressure of that fire will eventually find its way back out. So that doesn't automatically mean you're doing it wrong, uh, but that just means that's something that you've got to expect to have happen. It's a piece of the puzzle. So the fire, if you're not getting in there and putting the fire out, the fire's gonna find its way back. Again, this isn't a set it and forget it kind of thing, all right? 